Hey, welcome to the binge, AFCON edition. We're back. Yeah, we are. I'm Narika. I'm Lunga. <laughs> Got not, it. not Lunger. Not Lunger. <laughs> and this is the final group game stages have been done. We're in the business end. We are in. Now it's kind of like there's no second chance. At all. Everyone who's supposed to be at home, if you're not at home yet, they're on their way home. What are you doing that for? Some teams are on their way home and some teams aren't there, but we can be happy that other teams are on their way home. Definitely. Because karma, but we're not there yet. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Let's start off with Group A. Yeah. So Group A had Host Nation Cameroon, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, Ethiopia. Top of the group, Cameroon. Burkina Faso second. Came in hot. Came in hot. We knew if you watched the last episode, Ethiopia were out of here. Yeah, no, they they came to play for peanuts, as some people would say. They just came for vibes. Good vibes. Last game. Like, they just came for vibes. And then came third, finished third. And so they go through. They, they do go through. Yeah, so the top three teams in that group Went all through. go through. Yeah. So in that last group stage, Burkina Faso drew to Ethiopia, um, which I think that extra point put Burkina Faso in second. And Ethiopia finished last, but they did get points. They didn't finish on like zero points. It's the participation. You know, you know when, you're, <laughs> when your friends are smart and you don't get the academic award, but you get the most improved? Lunga read well this term. <laughs> Not that Lunga was top of English this term. We That's what Ethiopia got with the right. points. Oh no, but we needed teams like Ethiopia so that other teams could win on max oh, points. Oh, 100%. Like, someone has to lose, guys. And in this case, it was Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But both these like last games in Group A ended up in draws because Cameroon drew with Cape Verde. Like, big ups to Cape Verde for like holding Cameroon down. My big ups goes to Vincent Ababaka. Again, I've said every single <laughs> video, <laughs> what a Baca. leader. Abu Bakr. A real man. Abu Bakr. African. Don't I'm going to lie, I saw this post on, on the socials. There's a picture of him. Yeah. And he's like apparently really young. Was young. Is young. Mm. I know what I read said that he was in the team when he was 18. I know what I saw on <laughs> Twitter where people were roasting him about African age. You know, like African age okay, where okay. you say you one age, but you plus 10 and that's your real age. And then I looked at his face and then I was like, um, you kind of look old. Same age as me, kind of. Are you old? I am not African age old, but we're the same age. Like, we? Abu Bakr oh. and me are the same age. But okay. if you had to put us together, no one's trusting me as the adult in the room. Would you, would you let Abu Bakr slide in your DMs? Um, how tall is he? Plus six foot, he's got five goals right now. He's got five <laughs> goals. He's not missing. I swear, if he shot his shots, he's standing on those five goals. If he shots his shots in your DMs, he's aiming like because he's he, not missing. He's not missing because he did get five goals. Didn't miss. Hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a double tip. Send a smiley face. How's it? Let's How's go. It going? Let's, Let's go. go if you're listening, <laughs> slide into the DMs. <laughs> Don't miss. Yeah, so Lunga's team got knocked out of Afcon today. Well, match day three. Malawi. Zimbabwe. Yeah, but we know that. Yeah. We knew that in the last episode. Yeah. That's your team as well. You were saying they must drink the Yeah, Zoom for but us. then I was supporting Guinea. So and then they got knocked and out. And Guinea lost, but I mean, Guinea made it through. So, so the last round of Group B. Mm. So Group B had Senegal finish by well, the end of the games. Senegal finished first, Guinea second, Malawi third, Zim in fourth, and they're out. Yeah. Malawi played Senegal to a goalless draw. Yeah. Guys, Senegal aren't just, they're not hitting it. They aren't. I said skin of the teeth. You skin of what is that? Skin of the teeth. Uh, when you don't brush your teeth and then got skin under there. You. That's what it you. is. You. <laughs> yeah, just by the edge and then you brush and then it's clean. You. Yeah. That's so disgusting. So that's when they. That's that's how they made it through. They, they did be drew uh, drew to Malawi. So what to go through on five points. So yeah, Senegal first. The other well, Senegal obviously drew to Malawi. Yeah. The group also had Guinea and Zim. Yeah. You know Zim are out of here. Yeah, Guinea finished second. Senegal finished first. And then Malawi, Malawi in third. Third. Yeah. Yeah. But the South, South mean, African teams weren't. Those are the teams that we probably predicted to go through as a school. Yeah, yeah. Senegal yeah. and Guinea yeah. definitely would go through. 
Zim beat Guinea though, 2-1. Mm-hmm. They did, I mean... So they went out swinging. That's Guinea's first loss of the tournament. They went out. Guinea still go through though. I told you guys, Guinea are the dark horse. They're my dark horse. Because I'm supporting one team, you know that. And then I have another team who I think are going to make it through. And that's Guinea. So, yeah. What team are you? The Gambia? No, oh. man. Why did you say no oh. like that? Man, I didn't mean it like that, no. <laughs> I'm just supporting Ivory Coast. That's why oh, I was okay. like, we've spoken okay. about this. Why don't you remember this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I expected a better performance from Senegal. So I think yeah. going into the round of 16, I Spe- don't. Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane is who I expected a better performance from. But, but he's so nice. He's nice, but he nice. Can't is, even, like, nice don't, don't buy you goals. I don't feel great criticizing him. He just seems like such a nice guy. But the goals, bro. We expected you to score like way more goals than what okay, you actually but did. Did he even score goals this tournament? One a, penalty. At oh. a club level, like he is a great player for his club. Yeah. But we even know he's a messy goal scorer. Oh, no, I don't think. I think contrary to that popular belief, I think that he is one of the cleanest. I think Salah is more messy than him. Do you think but so? Yes. I think Mane's goals most of the time, like his first touches, even when he skills, people don't give him credit for how smooth he actually is. But then Salah, like, you know, everybody's like, oh, my word, best player in the world. I mean, okay. true, yes, yes. but, yeah, give the boy credit. Valid shout, valid shout. But mm. Senegal do go through... Yeah. The round of 16 is going to be tougher for them. Mm. I think they, would, they, they were lucky with their one draw selection, yeah. group selection. And two, because of the group, everything's connected, they could just coast. It doesn't like super, like, the other teams went on their throat. They mm. didn't have them in a choke. Oh, in the group? Yeah, in the, uh, group, in the group. It wasn't yeah. like, you need, to, you need to win. Yeah, I mean, playing what, Cape Verde, round of 16, oh well. You, you would expect them to go through, yeah. you know, but tough one. Malawi goes through as well, so there is yeah. still a Southern African team, but Malawi has a... They don't play Morocco. Yeah, that's a tough one too, because, I mean, they've been fighting. They've been fighting, fighting. I think out of all of the North African teams, like yeah. Egypt also did kind of well, but, like, the rest of them down bad, except for Morocco. Morocco have been, like, you know, somewhat yeah. playing well this tournament, so... It'll be a tough, tough one for Malawi. Oh, they might make it too, skin of the teeth. That, you, that is disgusting. I don't know why. Why you sound surprised about who finished in this group in Group C? Yeah, because I don't know Morocco. I guess Morocco did finish first, did they? I mean, you expected them to finish first. They have ballers in their team. They are the best. Oh yeah, La Liga stars and Nezri, and then former La Liga players like Hakimi and they got ballers in. in there's in there's a lot of bright yeah, prospects. Buffal, in you know. Yeah, so I mean, they finished. They were gonna finish second in that game against Gabon. So that game finished two two, but I mean they were trailing. Gabon, for, Gabon did right, give them a run, right? Yeah. And I mean without uh, Mr. Dubai himself as well. Obama. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. sent him back. They sent his ass back to Arsenal. So he's not feeling okay. Would you bring him back? To where? Because they now made it to a round of sixteen, a second like Gabon. So yeah. like, would you bring him back to Afcon? Can can they bring him back? They could, yeah. but I don't think they want to. Why? I think it's a blessing in disguise. It's but he's their best player. He was their best player. No, he is Gabon's best player. He's, Let's, he's he, not the he best. He is. He hasn't been in the tournament. At the tournament, no. But Gabon's best player, he is the best player. But they don't need him. I, that's what we like to believe. That's what they probably like to believe. They've but made it through without him. Bro. I think they need him. I think no matter who you're playing, it's still Obama Black Cat Young. So you still need the guy. I, I don't know. Mm. I mean, I, Morocco make it through. We're not surprised. You said I. I. I think the Gabon one was the most surprising. Finished second. So yeah. that is that is very surprising, especially with the absence of their captain. Mm. But like I'm saying, it's a blessing in disguise. Sometimes it causes players to play out of their skin, do, yeah. nah. do the best they can. You are right. You are right. But I think in the group, in this group especially, yeah, the biggest surprise wasn't even who finished first and second, but it was who got knocked out. And who was that? Ghana. This, for me, <laughs> is okay. Why? Because things come full circle. Oh, my days. Oh, don't be sour. You and Rick are the same. Ah, look, we literally said it last week, and I said, I haven't moved on 2022. Let's reconcile. Reconcile with who? We're gonna, and the refs, and World Cup qualifying, and all that kind of stuff. You jazz. know what, yeah? They got knocked out. Mm. They deserve to be knocked out. They were never good enough. Okay, yes, they do, they do deserve to be knocked out. Because if you lose games like the way they lost, yeah, I agree with you there, yeah. So, but I mean, sometimes you say hard luck. There's to, no hard luck here. To lose three two to Comoros, Comoros, Comoros came to play football. But that's their first three points at the in Afcon history. It's the first time at the tournament. And to pick it up against Ghana is deserved. It, uh, uh, you know, football is weird like that, where the smaller teams, like you find, like even in leagues and stuff, like 
the relegation teams will always beat like the bigger teams in the world. You know, yeah, hundred percent. So like we're not surprised. It's it's surprising, but like if you know football, you know it's not that surprising. For me, I wasn't surprised to see how you get a red card. He did kick the guy in the face. He and did. then leave. He did. Uh, did you retire? Maybe you retire. He'll you probably said, retire. Yeah, I you sent said. you a text saying yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he retires yeah. again. Yeah, because he was retired, right? Then he came out of retirement. And, and then, then now sometimes I, that jersey, that pressure is just too heavy for you. Yeah, especially who their father is and stuff, you know. A legend. A legend. Game, a legend in African football. But yeah, no, it's sad. I think in a way that I am kind of sad that Ghana aren't too, you know, to knock around and they're going but on early. I'm not sad because Kamaz, as it stands currently... Yeah, but they're not going anywhere. They are. Nah. They threw to the next round. Oh, uh, no. With three points, as it stands They have a chance. They have a chance to go to the next round. No, they round. threw to the next round. Oh, my days. That is shocking. I just want to add my two cents about Ghana. I specifically wore this shirt for a reason. Yeah. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, I'm explaining it to you. Okay? We had beef. Beef. Us as a footballing nation in Ghana as a footballing nation yeah and this thing called karma mm -hmm. what goes around comes around come on and Ghana are out and I don't feel sorry I saw Andre I saw his tears I saw them crying and I'm like this performance is shocking we saw them play against Bafana Bafana yes a young inexperienced Bafana Bafana yeah weren't convincing okay now they're gonna pitch up at AFCON what did you guys expect not convincing them to get to the final you know what I realized? Ghana has been letting us down since 2010. Well, Luis Suarez let us down. No, they did let us down. It was we, them. Actually, we've been backing the wrong horse. Yeah, maybe we, maybe we need to back Comores because those men said it's our time to shine. And Got they made history. Yeah, first time into round of 16, first time with three points. And they celebrated. They and did. It was, and their joy at the expense of Ghanaian tears. Hectic. I want to go to Ghana. Guys, don't come for me. <laughs> Ghana, like, I want to come through. I want to have a fun time. But Ghana's going to try to go win a World Cup as well. It's not going to happen. Nah, not, not with this current setup. Andre, are you? Andre, are you? Andre, are you? needs to just <sighs> call it a day. It's, it's over. So it's over. But. If you were a Bafana Bafana fan, you knew we were watching. And we were like, karma. That's all I have to say. It's just karma. Group D. Yeah, ma'am. Nigeria beat Guinea Bissau 2 0. Yes. That team's moving mad. Nigeria. Yes. That's nine points. Three games. They said, we're not, we're not playing games. We're not conceding. We're scoring. Only. Three points. Championship mentality. They made it look easy. It is easy for them. Why? You know when you come from a great footballing nation and your people just know what to do? It's inherited. They are, they are flying like super eagles, like their name. Football heritage. And IQ, all of that. So you think it's like genetically, like they just, the next generation just has it? It seems like it. Like they're they, they producing Fire kits, fire football. I'm very happy that they threw to the next round. How's it, that? How's that? Game plan to try to get to Nigeria. No one DM'd me. No one DM'd you. No, no one said here's a ticket to Nigeria or. That's hectic. I don't. I don't have DMs. So come through to Nigeria. I need them to chat by you. Yeah, I was looking at flights to Nigeria. And imagine like if you were in Nigeria when they win the Afcon, like not even in Cameroon, like Scenes. in Nigeria Scenes. when they win a, a trophy, and they're looking nice to win the trophy. Maybe we need to just go to a Nigerian watch party to watch the final. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we should host a Nigerian watch party. Just, I like that. And then, like, people bring jollof and the plantings and... I saw, I saw one of the comments in the previous video. Yes. The fan was demanding Nigeria versus Cameroon. And, you know, if you're demanding to face one of the best teams in the tournament, you want all the smoke. I've never supported a team that wants the smoke like that. If, our, if Bafana was in here, <laughs> I'm asking to face Kamors. I'm not asking to who's, face Cameroon. Who's the lowest ranked team? That's where you are. You don't want to face one of the biggest teams. And that's when I knew Nigeria about their business. They are. The future is bright. I don't know if you saw Moses Simon's go uh, assist. They said he's the player of the tournament. You he, keep saying Abu Bakr. People keep saying Moses Simon. I said he's close. He's second. In my books, he again... Nigeria like, win. He's getting it. He had like six defenders around him. He 
hit the crossbar and easy tap in for Ikong. So it's exciting to watch them. They win the AFCON. He's getting player of the tournament. Your man Abu Bakr is... Is nowhere to be seen. Let's, let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, yeah. Well, we don't know they're going to win because sometimes bigger teams choke. Egypt won. One Egypt won. No. Yeah, so in that group, it was Nigeria, Egypt, Sudan, Guinea-Bissau. So obviously we just, you know, know Nigeria are doing the bits. And then Egypt finished second. Yeah. For a second, they looked like they were not going to get out of group stages. They just got out, they, in my humble opinion. Mo Salah, when he scored. You know what I looked at? The Egyptian badge has eight stars. At some point, they're going to run out of shirts. Is it eight or seven? Seven. I'm confused, firstly, as They've to won why. Seven. They've won seven AFCON. That, surely that's an issue. There, there was a period in the early 2000s yeah. where I think they went back to back to back. You can fact check me. But even if, I, if I'm wrong, I am going to believe that they went back to back to back. But there was a period where like in a 10 year span, they yeah. won a majority of those AFCONs. So now I understand why the coach is under pressure probably out of a job if they don't get to the same years, but then the round of 16 i back them to you know what eh? i think round of 16 is more about experience it's about calm mentality exactly game management and i think we've seen in, a, in quite a few games teams in game management isn't a thing my group group e why is this your group because my team who i think is going to win the afghan is in the group okay before we get to that okay it's the teams in group e yeah. ivory coast equatorial guinea sierra leone algeria and mm. i said it in the order they ended in the group standings yeah. so sierra leone played equatorial guinea mm. sierra leone lost to equatorial guinea yeah but i mean it was a tough group as a whole yeah. it was a tough group yeah. but equatorial guinea finished second mm -hmm. And if you put money on them finishing second before the AFCON, you would have lost money. You would have made money. Oh, yes. You would have made money. You would have because made money. They, you know, the odds would have been so exactly. great. You know, yes. Yeah. But if you put you money bet. that they wouldn't, yeah. and you thought another team yeah. would finish in the top two, maybe first, according to some people, you would lose money. There's a lot of people who dropped comments. Eh? Right. All right. About that team. All right. We'll get to that team. Don't and worry. they're out of here. Yeah. We're actually at that team. Mm. Now, mm. your team, Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm. Ivory Coast in English, yeah. played Algeria. Mm -hmm. Now, this was do or die for Algeria. Yeah. This was... Like, we know, go home, you know. And they're Afcon going, or bust, and they're you going know? home. You're going home, fam. Defending champions, they're out of here. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of crazy. It's probably like the championship curse. We, we see it in the World Cup. Yeah. You know, we see it in other major tournaments. Maybe Afcon now has also that. Not every team curse. can go back to back. Algeria played Ivory Coast. Yes. They lost to Ivory Coast 3-1. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think before half time, or like, like they might have been in the first half, they were 3-0 down. I can't really remember. Or Ivory Coast scored that third goal. Yeah. But they were, they were basically at one point 3-0 down. Yeah, but I mean, it's a sign. They were never going to make it out. Once I saw they went one goal down in a do or die match, I was like, yeah, these men don't have the code. They went 3 0 down so yeah. early in the game. Mm. And then they were given a saving grace. The ref said, I can't whistle, but yeah. pin. Yeah. Pin. Yeah. Your boy Riyad Mari steps up. Not my boy, but yeah. Your boy Riyad Mari yeah. steps up to take a pin and miss it. Well, he misses. Mm. It's not it's, saved. Was it a bad miss? Or was it a miss miss? Was it hit the post. It ah. hit. It hit the the keeper. Ah. Where he went. The keeper went the wrong way. Yeah. And Riyad Mahrez hit the post. Yeah, you see. For his quality as a footballer, shouldn't be missing a pin. Shouldn't. Mm. You really. He's a forward. He plays for mm. one of the top clubs in, in the world. In the world. Yeah. You shouldn't be missing a pin. Yeah, but he did. And but he did. My team won. So if he scored that pen mm. and then Algeria scored that second, it's game on. It's it 75 on, minutes. You anything can happen. Yeah, wow. Well, he must. But yeah, Ivory Coast. I should have entered the competition, fam. You can't enter your own competition. No, but I'm saying I should have I should have entered it. Catfish and, does. And then won the shirt and then be like top tier football knowledge. Would have made sense. I think know? that's called corruption. I Follow what you want, top tier football knowledge. Nah, Algeria are out of here. It's kind of shocking. They look sad. As you're supposed to look sad. I mean, you're not supposed to be happy about getting knocked out of AFCON. But when you get to game three, 
Yeah. You've had your first game abysmal. Yeah. Your second game abysmal. Your third game, by the first half, a- you, you two that three nil down. Man, that's just a sign. You're why are you sad at the end of the third? Why are you sad at right. the end of the yeah. game? Do you think they're supposed to expect it? Be like, oh well, we trash. Let's go home. Keep it moving. Uh, that's you know what's sad though. Mm. It's a player like Slimani who's, I think probably his last Afcon. Yeah, thirty three. You know. Probably Algeria's best could, goal scorer. Could push it. I think, do you think he's a player that Algeria huh. could have played more Next in Afcon this would be 2024? Yes. Yeah, that's, this is last Afcon. Do you think if he played this mm. Afcon, they would have had better opportunities yes. or like, because he's more experienced yeah. in front of goals. But the problem is that European clubs releasing players, you know, we spoke <sighs> that thing, read this thing. Yeah. This whole thing. Trash. Group F. F for final group of the competition or failure of oh it can't be failure because three made it out i mean what tunisia the gambia mauritania and mali and the only team that didn't make it out of that group is the one that you would think not to make it out mauritania yeah and out of out of mali yeah. gambia yeah tunisia the gambia the gambia yeah. who's winning that's a tough one because the Gambia were on top of the group. Yeah. And then, yeah, now what they played in Tunisia and, you know, tough match. I think that match probably determined who was going to finish on the top of the group because Mali also looked promising in their match. But, yeah. I think, I think Mali are a good team. They are. But I realized that ever since Keita. What? I don't know any Mali players. Uh, you know a couple. But, I mean, I feel like their team is, like, extremely young. Neymar? I'm gonna do Diara. Is, is that is that certified Mali player? Haidara. <laughs> I'm gonna do Haidara. I got that, your name wrong, but I know who you are. Yeah, Link, I think he's linked. To, I think he's from Mali. He might be from Mali. No, okay. I'm pretty sure he's from Mali. Anyway, yeah. they're killing it. Like yeah, they yeah. they, whenever Mali was in the tournament mm. historically, yeah, they would always put in a strong performance. Always, always a favorite. And they've done that out. again. Yeah, they have. I mean, it just so, shows the caliber of players. Hundred you know, percent to make it out, but I mean, shame for Mauritania, they out of there. At least they participated. They yeah. do participate. I think what they they probably like the second lowest ranked team in the competition. In the tournament, in the, yeah, in the tournament. First being Comoros, and then I think it's Mauritania who was second lowest, and then the Gambia somewhere there also. I assume there should be fines for clubs that just what or teams that just come to a tournament and, don't and get participate. A sing, don't get a single point. Yeah, sure. I, didn't they pick up one point? Maybe, maybe not. But I mean, they're out of there. But I mean, yeah, as you said, those three other teams, it is tough. Nobody expected the Gambia to be. Well, let me not say nobody because every week I, I sit here and I always retract statements about yeah. the Gambia, you know. I didn't expect the Gambia to do and this. And they're well. through, bro. Like, they are. surprising. Is it? I'm is surprised. It surprising? I will be surprised if they make it further than the round of 16. The people in the comments think otherwise, that it's surprising that they are where they are. The people in the comments don't even know who the captain of Gambia is. <laughs> the Gambia. The Gambia. They don't yeah. know who the captain is. Yeah, I think the side that like surprised me the most out of this entire group yeah. was Tunisia not actually doing as well as I thought they would do. I, like I said to you before, I think this tournament has been sabotaged. And it is. the reason I say that is because all our highest ranked African nations have yeah. failed to show off their best football, which makes sense because all their best players play in the best European leagues. Yeah. And for some reason, the European teams didn't want to release players to come and train for their national teams. They are being held ransom. Yeah, I mean, when have you heard of somebody trying to like train and come to a tournament like two days before the tournament actually starts? I mean, that's why. Are we surprised then seeing like the teams like in Algeria underperform and get knocked out? I'm not surprised not because surprised. it's like your players only came to the tournament late. Yeah. And it's a pandemic. Mm-hmm. So that's even worse. It's like players give their hearts out for their clubs yeah. for the whole season. And the one time they get called for national duty, it's a thing of, oh no, we can't do that for you guys. Mm, you know? AFCON is a little tournament, according to some all those, managers. All those comments, yeah. deep down, I think players know they'd love to give their all for their country. But their employers would think otherwise. 100%. Yeah. And I think that's what's happened to Tunisia. But they're on the lucky end. So yeah. they made it through. So with they made it through, yeah. Average performances, yeah. if one can say that. But actually, to be fair, they got robbed in their first game. They did. I mean, they're always fighting, fam. Shame. I mean, even in the game now against Gambia, half time, the ref is out there. Saying handing out cards. Record, 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 like it's all profit. They actually just need to get through the tournament with players at you know, this point. Yeah, they definitely not winning fair play award. 
<laughs> if we ever had one, they definitely not getting one at all. <laughs> all I'm saying is that of all the things that happened in this past game week, karma. If you do good, good will be done unto you. Karma. If you're a Ghanaian fan, I might like you as a person, but your football team deserved this. It's called karma. Yes, we're fun of fun aren't in the competition. We're not going to the World Cup. But it's nice to see Ghanaian tears. And they're not going to win this AFCON because it's called karma.